this was kind of fun, and this kept us busy for a few minutes. And because there's something wrong with me, I found way too much amusement in this one. But I've realized there's still so much more we can do with this one. And that involves starting a brand new file, because the other ones for some reason don't like to load in very well. I've never considered the true potential of these beautiful, bent instruments of destruction. Mostly because you can just sort of put them anywhere and they give you maximum water. And that's not even water, that's wood. Now combine that with the fact that we can build anywhere we want, and I think we have a good old-fashioned recipe for stupid. So in theory, I could set up a little mine somewhere here, and then we start adding some pipes. And before you know it, you've got the kind of thing that keeps me up at night. And I've just learned there's a roof over this table. But that's okay, because when you start with an idea that doesn't make a lot of sense, it doesn't have to end with a lot of sense. Now we just sort of got to add some conveyors. There we go, that was quick. I thought it was going to feel a lot better once I got this done. I hate this so much already. But that's going to save me time and having to drive my gold 100 yards. And let's see if this actually works. This is my life now. Ready? Here comes the exciting part. Whee! And there it goes again. And it's finally time to see if my engineering skills work. That's okay, I have a solution for that. When in doubt, just add more gold. So with a little setup, we're good to start producing. And this is the pinnacle of my day because it's actually working so far. The game is moving quite a few resources, so it's not going to love that forever. Alright, since this is mostly self-sufficient, I want to see how the business end of things is going to work out. Something made it on the table! We're not a complete failure after all, look at that money add up! Okay, it's going up and down a little bit, but you know what, eventually things will stack up on this table. I should really just stop it here and call it a success, but we've got escalation to do. Well, alright, let's go give it more gold. And we've already got our first hiccup. That tells me that something fun is going on up top. Well, hello, beautiful. I'm a little scared to touch you, but we'll see how this goes. Gold explosion! And we got 30% of it, I'll take it. Good news, I've made a very exciting discovery. If you take a magnet and put it near the fish pods, you can actually pull them right out. If only we had somewhere to send all these fish. The shop's going to be a little bit confused about the order coming in. So naturally, there's only one thing to do now. Sell just a little bit of this for 205,000. Murder the FPS with a gold explosion. And before you know it, things are starting to escalate way out of hand. But you know, somehow this conveyor mess has given me an idea. I also never considered how I blocked my road. Luckily, I can make a teleporter. The wheelie boys are what I was looking for. Yeah, now that I'm here, that gives me another, another idea. So we have a choice between a wooden cart, a fast wooden cart, or an agile wooden cart. You know me, I'm all about the speed. Let's go, cart. Okay, if you see what I'm getting at, if we back the cart up to the fish things, does it scoop them up inside of it? <laughs> I don't know if it's working, but I'm enjoying it. And that didn't work. One thing I did notice once I got the cart back was that the magnets were actually starting to work, albeit slowly. But since I don't do anything slowly, we're going to make sure nothing happens slowly. See, there it is. A fish got out of its cage. I still don't know how to further utilize this mess yet, but there's potential. And the magnets actually have a pull of two spaces, so I'm going to let them go two spaces. That way the fish have a little more room for freedom. I wouldn't want them to be uncomfortable after all. <laughs> I'm starting to think I'm onto something here. We happen to be catching a whole bunch of fish at once, and building an enormous conveyor system to I don't know where yet. So then there's also this fun trick you can do where you can actually stack fishing pots right on top of each other, and they should catch multiple fish instead of just one at a time now. So good news, you guys are going to have friends. Look at them, they're wiggling with excitement. I'll come back and check on them in a little while. In the meantime, well would you look at that, which is about perfectly lined up with the store in this place. We've just got across the entire span of the river. That should about do it. The curious thing that nobody knows about conveyors is, the more you place, the funner it gets. I am just a smidge worried about my accuracy, so we need to give this a test. So if I borrow one of my very shiny fish, and place it very carefully in the beginning of his long adventure, we'll see if he turns up in town in an hour or two. I can't imagine a game is going to love having a lot of resources along that conveyor belt. I'm not really sure if these are actually catching fish any faster with the stacked pots or not at this point. Okay, as soon as I put some magnets to the side, I think it actually wiggles them out of the bottom. So there are more fish than I thought. I see the problem now. We just got to put magnets there and it jiggles them out of the nets for some reason and launches them to the top. That's understandable. I'm learning just as much as you are these days. This is going to get weird. So that makes me think we're going to need more magnets to give the fish an extra extra jiggle because we really need them out of those nets. That is beautiful. I didn't expect this to do anything at all. Right, well, we're going to throw a test crab on the test conveyor and we're going to go try and find our fish. 
<laughs> there he is, making his lonely way across the world. Good news, he's on the home stretch now. Alright, hours of work, and where is our stuff landing? Really, really close to the selling table. Easiest $23 I've ever earned. I've never noticed this before, but if someone ever wants to make me a mod that can produce gold this big or bigger, please get in touch. Now, how is our fish pile adding up? It's getting there, it's not a superstar yet, it's gonna need a little time to grow. So let's give the game a little stress test while we wait. I also may have found a solution to our jamming problem. I noticed the way over here, magnets have an incredible pull on fish. So I just put a magnet right there, pulling everything straight down. It can only get as far as the conveyor before the conveyor moves it anyway, and so far no jams, because we've unleashed a lot of gold into the world. The frame rate is still perfectly fine, but it's going to slow down really quickly. I'm really impressed with the performance so far. The gold is all the way up to its initial drop-off point, you can still see it pumping out the beginning. But to be fair, it does still have a long ways to go. It's not the biggest pile of gold we've ever seen, but it does have a crab in it, and that makes it special. Uh, because crabs are worth an indeterminate amount of money, it's a little hard to say right now, because <laughs> there's resources bouncing everywhere. But this is a nice little side project where my fish farm is filling up. I feel like I haven't been giving these enough love and attention. The Mega Nuke in particular is just a lot of fun. It makes a real big explosion. And I mean, we have unlimited of those. One is that tall, but that's not even as tall as my conveyor thing, <laughs> so that gives me an idea. It's been a little while since we found the building limit. Now this mighty creation is a shovel that has infinite dirt, which means if you want to build a little dirt tower, you certainly can and nothing can stop you. Except maybe a horrible frame rate. I <laughs> might have to go clean things up over there. Yeah, that's not a particularly good sign. Well, we definitely had a jam up up there, but on the bright side, we did make another $157,000 that we absolutely don't need. <laughs> the uh, fun ideas just keep escalating in my head today. I'm having trouble keeping track of them all. Oh, that's better. All I had to do was hit the clear raw resources button. But don't you worry, my fish are still there. Now, back to my next triumph of stupidity. It's kind of like a tree, but made of dirt and soon to be covered in nukes. But you're right, this isn't as tall as we could possibly go because we can still go downwards. Downwards is the direction I'm used to going. And I want to make sure to have a little free room, so that's probably about the appropriate powered pickaxe. So we'll take this straight to the bottom. Which actually adds a lot more height than I remembered. Then it's just a matter of putting our magic shovel back to work and making our way back to the heavens. <laughs> there we go, straight as an arrow. Now to just delicately place a few nukes amongst that. I don't want to talk about it, I might have accidentally thrown one. <laughs> what I find really funny about this is I blew up the flight helmet on top of my head, so you can't see it anymore, <laughs> but I'm still flying. Which kind of gives me more fun ideas for more stupid things. We're learning so much today that we're going to get so many videos out of this. And we missed. There we go, like nothing ever went wrong. Uh, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but for some reason I can still <laughs> place nukes outside the build height. So, I don't know what this means yet. Today is just really full of fun discoveries. Didn't there at least used to be a build height? Wait, never mind. I found it. I guess I just never really realized how high it was. Because you can build there, but you can actually build about twice as high with nukes for some reason. Alright, well, there goes a throwable uh, <laughs> nuke, and let's watch the explosion unfold. <laughs> there we go. That might be a record. <laughs> you can definitely see it from a ways back, but that's what happens when you stack 20 nukes on top of each other to the build height. And I'm starting to realize that when it's not blowing up dirt and other things, it really has an easy time with the nukes. Well, just because we can. This will be a good trial run. I mean, without something to blow up, it's probably going to be perfectly fine. It's going to probably be fairly wide. Well, the game didn't love it, but the game allowed it. That's actually a remarkably good sign. We can go so much bigger with that. Okay, see you in a few hours. Alright, this is certifiably a small mountain. There's, I don't know how many nukes, but they're all about to go off all at once. The game's probably not going to love this either. So far, there's a pretty big leg spike, and <laughs> there it is. Yep, if that was dirt, the game would have absolutely died. Alright, and how's our fish farm doing? It's getting closer. It's still not quite where I'd like it to be. Might be a few hours before this one's ready. But that's okay because I've got something else I want to try now. First things first, we got to remove a little bit of dirt. Then we have the room we need to start placing some nukes. And so it begins. It looks so neat and orderly. It's probably the nicest thing I've ever built. In case you've ever wondered what 400 nukes looks like. But I think it actually works much better as a pyramid. 
And the best part is, it's just going to make another explosion, but I sure enjoyed that process. Just in case you're having trouble visualizing the scale of this, it's considerably larger than the Hydroneer truck. Well, enough staring at it, let's set it off. Is that going to reach? I think it sure will. Don't know how many nukes that is, but it's got to be a lot. The game doesn't love it. Well, this is very sad. They don't seem to want to set off for some reason. So I'm hoping if maybe I turn the game down into marshmallow mode, that's going to help it go off. I just really want this to work because that did take a little while to do, but I think the game's locked up once again. I don't know if we're going to save it. Oh, it did go off. I was actually on my phone. I didn't expect that to actually work, so it did set off. It didn't make a particularly large explosion, despite the fact there was like 500 nukes in there. So next from our barrel of funness, I've jumped up a way to probably overload the conveyors to the point where they explode, despite the fact it can be a very small conveyor. So I'm pretty sure I can use just this to absolutely obliterate the conveyor. Just had to make a little room for my magic magnet, and then we're good to turn on our conveyor to nowhere. And there we go, the start of a huge disaster. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of fun ideas it's damn just from this little setup. This little setup is really doing me proud, like I'm starting to feel the leg a little bit, but look at all the material on there. I decided to set up a logic counter for fun to see how many materials are passing through this. Obviously they go in a loop, but there's already been 1500. And that number's escalating because we're <laughs> continually adding resources to this conveyor belt. The rocks are coming out slower and slower, but we're up to 5000 through the counter. Uh, things are laggy enough now that I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the plug on a few things just so I can breathe. That's amazing, as soon as the conveyor stops, the game is perfectly fine. I'm a little bit worried about what is about to happen exactly, but, well, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We'll just make a little opening for our wagon. Then just gently sort of maneuver it in there, soon as it wants to let it go. I had to make the hole a little deeper, but I got the wagon more or less into place. Hey, look at that, we got some gold in the wagon. Alright, things are looking up. Alright, I'm going to turn the conveyor back on then. But I'm getting one frame every seven seconds. I wasn't wrong though, this conveyor did destroy the game. I'm going to try and clear out those resources. Okay, I just restarted the game. I'm not sure what happened to the wagon, but it made its way into the conveyor belt. So I think for the time being, it's best if I just recuse myself from this situation. Because I need to check on my fish farm, which is starting to get pretty full. I would wager there's a lot of fish tucked up in that area. Plus down along the magnets, but I think if I let this hang out for another 8-10 hours, then we'll finally have the numbers we need. It's beautiful. It's exactly like I had imagined it. Twitching and suffering. So now we just gotta find a clever way to actually deal with all this. So let's make some of these outside magnets disappear. That should release everything upwards nicely. And there's obviously a lot of baskets here, but we can try and delete them all so all the fish get released. <laughs> okay, everything is up at the top. The question is, how do you functionally do something with all this? If your answer is more magnets, you'd be right. Little bit nervous about doing this, but if we delete that magnet, it sucks everything up a little bit higher. If I delete this one, everything falls and spreads out again. Well, I'm just going to use the magnets to lift everything up just a smidge. Lift them up and I'm actually at the point where I'm pretty sure I can just delete that and the fish fall right through my truck. Just what I was hoping they would do. <laughs> if I drop them manually, they're fine. What if I over magnet them? Will that make them come into my truck properly? Get down here, and yep, that works. And now we're having a battle of magnets to see whose can override whose to try and get the damn fish into my truck. I just realized the answer was actually super obvious. We don't need a truck at all. We have a perfectly valid conveyor system right here. Just need to add a few little pieces. And there we go, a place for all the fish to drop. They'll navigate over here, they'll drop over here, and make their way onto the store in town. If the game doesn't crash in the meantime, we're good. We'll just add some metal sheets and pretend like that solves all of our problems. Anyways, let's start letting these <laughs> massive quantities of fish go and hopefully they land somewhat on the conveyor. Perfect. <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> Look at the masses of fish. Some of them didn't want to go anywhere, but for the most part, most of them did. So we can ride this fish convoy all the way to victory, except for that spot's also a problem. A few problems were to be expected. Get on up there and see you in town. <laughs> there we go, like 24 hours of work, accumulating in like 200 fish. Perfect, right on schedule. <laughs> it's just fun in itself watching them bounce everywhere. Oh, one bounced right over the back. We almost made money with that one. <laughs> Come on, fish shower, you can do it. I need to make a little bit of my money back. We got one. Oh, well, there's a problem. All of our fish jammed up at the top. Yep, this will fix things. There you go. We're going to follow them down <laughs> and see where they land in a fish explosion. All right, well, 24 hours of fish was worth $15. Well earned. 